By now you've probably heard of the video game Black Myth Wukong. In it, you play as a monkey based on Sun Wukong, otherwise known as the Monkey King. He's a prominent character in Chinese mythology, specifically from the story Journey to the West. And what we're looking at in this video is a movie loosely based on that story called The Forbidden Kingdom. Released in 2008, this martial arts flick had a few things going for it. First, the source material is rather epic. Second, it's a Hollywood movie, so it's got a Hollywood budget. And lastly, it stars Jackie Chan and Jet Li, a monumental feat as it was their first movie together. The movie opens with a fight scene of the Monkey King, played by Jet Li, fighting a bunch of dudes and kicking ass. Then it is revealed that it was just a kid dreaming. This is Jason, your main character played by Michael Angarano, who is a fan of martial arts movies. You might be wondering what the hell does this have to do with the Monkey King, which is a good question indeed. Jason heads to a pawn shop run by an old Chinese guy to check out some movies. In a back room, he notices a staff that looks like the one Wukong carries in his dreams. But the owner puts it back and tells him he's been watching too much Hong Kong fooey. As Jason bikes home, he gets stopped by a gang of bullies who force him to help them rob the pawn shop. As the bullies ransack the place, the owner attacks one of them with the staff, prompting the ringleader to shoot him. Even his boys are like, come on, dude. Fearing that Jason will snitch, they chase him up to the roof. After Jason gets cornered, the staff pulls him off with the fall knocking him out. He wakes up in an ancient Chinese village, staff in hand. Failing to communicate with anyone because he only speaks English, he saunters around a bit until an army attacks. The soldiers manage to surround him, but here comes Jackie Chan riding on a donkey. In this movie, he plays a drunken scholar named Lu Yan. Most people probably know that Jackie Chan is pretty funny from the Rush Hour movies, but Jackie Chan playing a drunk martial arts master is the creme de la creme. After fighting off the soldiers, he recognizes the staff. Miraculously, he can speak English and takes Jason to a restaurant. There, he explains the story of the staff. Basically, the Monkey King is immortal, but with the staff, he's ungodly overpowered. He could do whatever he wanted, much to the chagrin of the Jade Army. Every 500 years, the Jade Emperor hosts a banquet where a bunch of ministers come together to celebrate their longevity. But the Monkey King crashed one of these parties and was acting a fool. The Jade Emperor found him amusing, but the Warlord did not. The Emperor told the Warlord to give the Monkey King a title and let him join. And then he dipped for another 500 years. But now that the Warlord was in charge, he decided to challenge the Monkey King to a duel. It's a pretty entertaining fight, and you get to see the Monkey King use his cloning ability. Eventually, the Warlord taunts the Monkey King into letting go of his staff for a no-magic fists-only fight. Even though he was tricked, he was at least able to send the staff away before the Jade Army could get their hands on it. Since the Monkey King can't be killed, the Warlord turned him to stone. There is a prophecy that a Seeker would come and return the staff to free the Monkey King, and it looks like Jason is that Seeker. And that's the setup for the movie, the quest to return the staff. Along the way, they're continually on the run from soldiers of the Jade Army. And of course, Jason learns to fight through some cliche training sequences. They also recruit some allies, one being a woman named Golden Sparrow, whose family was killed by the Warlord. To no one's surprise, she becomes Jason's love interest. They also befriend a monk, who is also played by Jet Li. Some people might find this movie too Hollywood or westernized and might label it inauthentic or whatever, but it seems like the goal was to make a fun, family-friendly movie that all ages can enjoy. If you're coming into this expecting something like Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, then yeah, you'll probably be disappointed. I really liked watching this as a kid and thought that Jet Li's performance as the Monkey King was really funny. It's just a shame we didn't get to see a whole lot of it. Jason's a bit whiny, and some people found him to be too much of a knockoff Daniel LaRusso, but for the sake of the story they made, it's the only character type that makes sense. Maybe they thought that having the story revolve around a kid from Boston would resonate with Western audiences more, but all that seemed to do is make people annoyed that the movie was about him instead of any of the awesome side characters. The fight choreo is good, although it includes some goofier moments, and we did get a good, long fight scene between Jackie and Jet. Seriously, it was like 5 minutes, which is impressive considering that both Jackie and Jet's primes were behind them at this point. I also really liked the soundtrack and thought the visuals were good, 
even if some of these special effects were on the cheesier side. My biggest gripe with the movie was the amount of English spoken between the Chinese characters. They could have excused it by making Jason be able to speak with everyone because he's dreaming or whatever, but the fact that the characters do speak Chinese in this world just makes it strange that they would be speaking English with each other even if Jason isn't around. Master of Sensitivity but regardless, as long as you don't take it too seriously, The Forbidden Kingdom is a fun, entertaining watch. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching.